conversation. We'll be giving out 10 spots. That's right, 10 spots for you and the guests to come in to have breakfast with Baldy. We'll do that. Baldy going to join us 730 on the River Islands guest line here. Robert Sala, fired from the New York Jets. Jeff Ulbrich, former 49ers linebacker, will be named the interim head coach for the New York Jets. Daniel Hackett is still the offensive coordinator. But we were just talking to uh, during what the break. Jeff Ulbrich is a niner. Huh? Do you know what number? 53. Look at you. What college? Hawaii. Look at you. Um, Jeff Ulbrich was one of my you. favorites. I love Jeff Ulbrich. I love Jeff Ulbrich. He was uh, also a part of Jim Moore Jr. staff yeah, at one time. Yeah. Down at, I believe UCLA. Yep, UCLA. Yeah, he's been around the coaching block for he a really while. Has. He's intense. But Robert Sala gets fired, and I'm just wondering why. We'll get well, Baldy on because he <laughs> spends why. a lot of time around Jets camp. I'm looking at their last two losses, right? <laughs> so you fired a defensive-minded head coach when you lose to the Denver Broncos 10-9. to And they lost 10-9 to to the Denver Broncos. Bo Nix threw for 60 yards. 60 yards, okay? He threw for 60 yards against Minnesota and London. Rodgers threw a pick six. Rodgers threw three picks in all, including a game-winning pick when they were driving. So I'm trying to just figure out, did Rodgers, was it the cold red from a few good men? Did Rodgers put out the cold red? Ayahuasca man? Of course he did. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. Like, you look, duh. There's no way Belichick's touching the Jets now, right? Hell no. He never was. And the organization's a mess. Uh, I have a new number one as my power ranking for the Bill Belichick board. <laughs> Is it Philly still? No, no, Is no. It the 49ers? no I'll, I'll rattle through it very quickly. All right, go ahead, do it right now. Number five, the Jets. <laughs> He's not going there. I know. Number four. Number four, the Raiders. I think the Raiders need to be higher. Okay. Just win, baby. Number three. Number three, Jacksonville. All right. Number two, the 49ers. No. Oh. Although I would love to have them. Oh, not nah, you. I'd love to have them. I can't do it. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Come on. The Bears. That's a good one. But you know what? You see Caleb? He's getting better every single week. But I like him with the Bears. Hey, I'm back on the Bears. Take the over win total. My new number one for Bill Belichick on the Bill Belichick board. The Cincinnati Bengals. You think he goes to Cincinnati? What? Are you kidding me? The Cincinnati Bengals. He'll be on to Cincinnati. That d- took the words right out of my mouth. God, Sam, I love you. You guys are not high on Zach Taylor. Uh, are you? T- are, are what? Uh, Belichick hello? Was not, Belichick. I was hyping up Zach Taylor before they even got to the Super Bowl. Me and Covey were arguing on the late night. No, then, well, how come I brought up Zach Taylor earlier this year? Because like, no one ever gives no, him credit. Yeah, give that's all what the credit I'm saying. I gave him credit. You guys pushed back on me just three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, I brought up Zach Taylor. You guys pushed back on me. Because we're saying that nobody, no, what we were saying is that no one else considers him one of the top 10 coaches. Well, I don't know why. He's a very good coach. Well, he's on the hot seat, Bonte. <laughs> is he on the hot seat? Well, what are they, one and four? Did they make the playoffs last year? No, they, Burrow got hurt. Yeah, Burrow and then got hurt. that backup quarterback was balling yeah. out till the end. Yeah, they, Burrow got hurt. They're I, in I, trouble. I, Cincinnati. I, don't know. No, I see. I don't think Mike Brown, that's not his style. Though. I know, but that's, that's how you can buck style. the trend. That's not his style. I, I, Belichick, just take over. You've got Burrow. Yeah. If I'm Belichick, I'm finding my franchise quarterback. That's why I like the Bears, and I really like Jacksonville, and I really like, uh, obviously, Cincinnati for him. That's my little Bill Belichick board. I'm taking the Jets off the board. I don't think he wants no part of Rodgers. I don't think he wants part of the Jets organization, which is why he walked away from it 20-some-odd years ago. But to your larger point, Aaron Rodgers absolutely beheaded Robert Sala. Oh, it's not even close. Not even close. God, you think he would take a job midseason and come back here? He's got like just, 12 just, kids. Just bring him as a consultant. Bring him in okay. as a consultant. So now I have two consultants yeah, on but, defense. But, yeah, I've got no. Brandon Staley and I've got Robert Sala we, we need, both on the whiteboard. You know what they miss? Consulting. They miss, they miss Salah's energy on that sideline. So, so we made wait such a, a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. From the inventor of I don't care about. I don't care. Okay. I don't care. But since I, y'all's, okay, I'm going to say we. y'all's, <laughs> y'all made such a big deal about press box gate and whether to be on the <laughs> sideline. Well, what has Nick Sorensen done on the sideline? Does he show any emotion? 
Not enough. How, how much emotion does he show? I don't know, but I mean, the said, only emotion I've seen from the sideline is when I mean, Dre Greenlaw was ready to get in a fight in yeah, street clothes. I swear to God. I swear to Cleveland's a good call, Zucci May. Cleveland's a good call. I don't think he wants anything to do with Deshaun Watson. And oh, they, they, would I. They'd move off of him. I mean, they're going to have to eat like a lot a of money. Oh, I, oh, cap I get it. oh, I get it. I get it. Belichick was talking about money yesterday with Pat Wait, McAfee. what is it? Sam? 172 million dead cap for the oh next my couple God. years. Oh my God. Oh, that's God. bad. Oh my God. And it accelerates they, they, the second you cut them. They're stuck. 172? I might just bite the bullet for a year and do it. Um, It's that bad. You know. <laughs> I, I Honestly, I don't think Deshaun Watson goes to another team. No, nah, I think he's done. I think, I think he's, he's done. Just stuck in I don't Cleveland. think anyone brings him I think back. He's stuck in Cleveland. He's stuck in Cleveland. No, I, I I was going back to sourcing for a second. I'm just thinking about him. Sometimes I get confused with Kyle Shedahead and the way they just look on the sideline. Like, we know Shedahead, you don't really get a lot of fist pumps out of him. No. You don't get much out of Shedahead on the sideline. He's just uh, in unless you sheet. blow an assignment as a DC yeah, in the Super Bowl. Did he, yeah, he'll throw his headset <laughs> on. I, I remember when he did that, I go, what did I say in real time? I said, who the hell is he to throw his so headset? Fun. He kept your ass in the Super we Bowl. We were up in the noses of nosebleeds of all of all spots, <laughs> and I could see him throw the, he threw the surface, headset. not the iPad. That ticked me off. <laughs> that ticked me off again. I said, shit ahead. You finally wore me over. Now you want to throw your uh, headset to Steve Wilkes? Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. So, you bring know, Salah home, though. Bring Salah home. Bring Salah home. Oh, my gosh. But this it, is a larger point with Aaron Rodgers. You talk about a guy Q rating going down the drain. He's one of the all-time greats, yeah. throwers of the football, all that stuff. Yeah. But the way he's gone down over the last five years with that guy, yeah, he I couldn't get the... along with Matt LaFleur. <laughs> How fun does Green Bay look? Oh, they look like they love playing for Matt LaFleur. Absolutely. They hey, Rogers tried everything. to stick him, stick it to him, try to get him fired. He got McCarthy fired. McCarthy doesn't seem like a bad guy. I don't think he's a great head coach. But you know what? Dallas is playing for him. That Prescott went to his family's house with him in Pittsburgh. Did you see the way they were laughing when they scored that game with a touchdown to Pittsburgh? They have fun with Mike McCarthy. Credit to him. Aaron Rodgers got our boy Salah fired. He gets every – he's a coach killer. You really don't like Aaron Rodgers. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. You you give up 10 points to the Denver – Bo Nix threw for 60 yards. Well, he's not very good. Negative seven at halftime. Negative seven oh, at halftime. That's Kaepernick style. <laughs> you know? What was Kaepernick negative 12 against uh, the Bears? You, Chicago or something yeah. like that. Negative four or something like that. Bo Nix just threw like 300 yards against Antonio Pierce. So and I'm, then I'm shoot his coach talk. out. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty sick. Sean Payton. Well, Sean Payton. Sean you know Payton, how I feel yeah, about no, Sean no, no, Payton. And, and no, Payton you, said he has a little Ferris Bueller's Day off yeah. in him, too. No, I don't know how you feel about Sean Payton. I dude. think he <laughs> is a fraud. No, before the season, you were like agreeing with Coward when he was out of the top five. I can't I can't. I don't know. You know I, I hate Sean Payton. No, I have, but not only that, Bo Nix throws to 60 yards, and then Rodgers goes out there to London and throws three interceptions, including a pick six to Van Ginkle. And he got confused as Van Ginkle came back, act like he was in the cover Van zero Ginkle. blitz, and dropped back in coverage and took away the slant and went 60 yards to the house. And then he throws a pick to Stephon Gilmore, a terrible throw by Rodgers, and they had the audacity to go to the referee and chew him out. No, you threw the interception. You threw through pick, three picks. Who the hell is there? Like, how, that, that Aaron Rodgers was, missed me with him. He was on the ground, and uh, I don't know if you saw all the memes, but he hurt his ankle, and he's on the ground. And it was like me after playing Legos with my kid for more than five minutes after I'm 35-plus years old. I mean, it was just the greatest meme of all time. You know what? You know what? <laughs> he is a coach killer. He's a coach killer. So, you know what? New York City deserves him. Jets fans, you wanted him. I, we all said, be careful what you wish for. Be careful. Baldy's always around Jets camp. I thought the Jets were going to be legit this year because well, of that Brees defense. Hall, all the people who took Brees Hall oh, in fantasy, you yeah, have to be I, regretting that. Yeah. Did you take I'm, Brees Hall? No. The, oh, I did. Guido took him number one overall. Yeah, he's not looking good and right now. The guy, the guy in number zero is the guy who yeah. should be playing. Yeah, also, Island? the guy who played with Isaac Garendo uh, in college, and he looks like a better NFL player. <laughs> took him number one overall? That's a fireball offense. Who, Guido? Yeah, he should well, be fired. Guido might be first like in the league right got now. Fired. Come on. Guido's got a great team. Brees Hall number one over Justin I, I Jefferson. Think he's like four and one. No, but but you know what though? It's it's easy to say that in hindsight. But I didn't take Justin Jefferson in one league. I took Brees Hall number three overall because I didn't know she had Sam Darnold playing quarterback. Yeah, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tyreek Hill, you didn't know about Tua. So when Mike McDaniels gets fired down in Miami, we're just gonna bring all the old coordinators back, huh? Why not? Why not? 
Oh, Spadoni. Oh. You said the Jets would be Super Bowl contenders on a pregame Did show. you? Uh, this is coming the move out. that's going to galvanize them. All right? Actually, I, <laughs> the said they were, I said they were contenders. No, I, I said they were going to win it. No, I thought the Jets would be really good, too. I don't mean to bring that. That's the Comcast business My Chiefs-Eagles pick you know, is on the you know, nice, though. People love to bring up our receipts. I love to see you guys' receipts out there. Hey, we all miss. <laughs> I picked the Jets last year to win the Super Bowl, though. That was a tough season. This is my favorite for <laughs> the kids. I say to the kids all the time, Steph Curry's like a career 44% three-point shooter. He's the greatest of all time that means he's missing like close to 55 percent all right it's okay you can miss it's okay you miss a thousand was it 100 percent of the shots, you don't, of the shots you don't there take. you go yeah closed mouths don't get fed at the chasky household wow you like that one speak up or forever hold your truth look at you i'm so ready to talk to baldy is he ready to roll i mean do we bring sala in like, what do we do I, I here? Is on Sala going to actually wrap up? Is he going to be the one? Is he the one missing tackles? Hey, hey. <laughs> you know. How I, much? I just, if I'm Jed York, how much money do you have to pay Robert Sala no, he'll, he'll to come not work. take a week off and come straight to San Francisco? I, I just, I'm more and focused start working on. working right away. I just can't wrap my head around Aaron Rodgers. Because you know he ordered a cold red. You know he ordered a cold red. We should have known when how, he pushed him he off get, of him. Like, huh. already, you, you, you played the, the Vikings are 5-0. and oh. It's a good football team. You can't you have the ball with a chance to win the game. The quarterback that you traded heaven and earth for threw the pick, and he threw three and all. And his body language is, you want to talk about all-time bad body language? Oh, Garrett Wilson is over Aaron Rod. I bet you Garrett Wilson wants out. I mean, does he want to go back to Zach Wilson? Hey, well, do you think he just walked out of that situation? Well, I mean, it's the Jets. I don't even know. I mean, and he's a hell of a player. Hell of a player. Now, everybody's going to point to 28-36. He's 28-36, Robert Sala. Well, you lost Rodgers four plays into the season. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that sucks. You know what I'm saying? Well, I saw a stat floating around yesterday about Kyle Shanahan. He's under 500 without CMC. It's like, yeah, he took over an expansion team. <laughs> Does anyone remember how bad they were? They, they had Brian Hoyer playing quarterback. I mean, they were all-time bad. The fact that they lost five straight games by three points or less was an accomplishment in itself. Like, that was an accomplishment for those forty for that 49ers My favorite team. was hearing the voice of the 49ers try to cape up for the toughness of C.J. Beathard during that losing streak. <laughs> I also heard an explanation yesterday from the same individual about global warming ruining the, the stadium and, and how the Niners right, need to wear well, white they're, jerseys they're, they're, during, during the about. month of October. And it's like, guys, I'm telling you right now, the color of the jerseys had nothing to do with right, them winning or losing on Sunday. You're going down a rabbit hole that I'm not going down with you with. Uh, I'm not going into that bunker. But I want to hear from Richard Sherman. At 888-957-9570, I have no idea what you're talking about. They were about. saying that it gets Global too hot warming. in October I, 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 in Levi's Stadium. Saying that? Who's saying that? Everyone. Oh, and I'm gosh. telling everyone right now, red jerseys, white jerseys, it didn't make a difference. All right? I, I just, it, there was the way, no difference. Our boy Niner Nick, did you see his video? Niner Nick? Oh, I saw him. It was great. Dude. Go Niners, but, psych. No, what he's... Talk about the stadium. We got the worst modern. I told you, whenever they lose, <laughs> stadium talk appears. All the stadium. Well, it, the look, stadium, the stadium, the stadium. He is right on one element. Of the modern new stadiums, it's not one of the best. Yeah, but nobody talks about the stadium when they win. Oh, Levi's is rocking at night. Yeah, but this is what happens. The amenities better be you good. What? Like, even though the Giants sucked for the last however many years, <laughs> stadium was still sweet. Yeah, I hear sounded like Al Gore talking about global warming, man. We need to hurry up and I get the didn't. ball. I didn't. I said someone then, else did. You brought it up. Let's well, get the Well, because I'm just get the shark we're talking week. about the, the team. Week. Shark Week, please.